Thunder must have been to get a pretty good knock before versing the Sixers. Yeah, really pleasing to make a contribution. Obviously, having a nice lead in for a couple of weeks while Faf and Livy were doing a good job at the top of the order and the boys are, were playing some really good cricket. So, um, nice hit the ground running last night and such a great, well-rounded performance from us yesterday. So, yeah, coming here tomorrow, extremely confident um, individually and really confident as a side that we can take that momentum against, you know, a side that by all accounts has been some really good games of cricket played against the two teams. So, yeah, really excited. First time playing at SCG for yourself. Did you dream about this growing up? Um, yeah, well, I spent a bit of time growing up in, in Perth um, and obviously playing my trade in the UK for the last 10 or 12 years. So, look, it's a beautiful ground. Um, haven't spent too much time here. I played a bit of grade cricket in Sydney a few years ago. Um, haven't been fortunate enough to get out there and play. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying the opportunity to play at some amazing grounds around the country um, with an amazing team. So tomorrow should be good fun. Aaron Hardy has been a standout performer throughout the whole season. How have you seen his performances for the Scorchers? Yeah, phenomenal, really. Um, incredible maturity from a guy who hasn't played, you know, a ridiculous amount of cricket. To take on the role at number three and play it the way he has done has been really impressive. Um, he's a senior mature head in the dressing room, even for such a young guy. And I think, you know, there's, there's absolutely no limit on what he can achieve. And, and when he gets himself right and he can bowl again, he's, he's a complete package. He can field, um, he bats, he bowls, um, and he hits the ball miles like he's shown the last few games. So, yeah, the sky's the limit for hards. Peter Hanscom back into the test squad. You played with him in England at Middlesex. In, with your eyes, what can he bring to the tour of India? Yeah, Pete's a great bloke, first and foremost. Um, really enjoyed having him around Lords for a couple of seasons the last few years. Um, he fit into our group beautifully. He's such a good guy. Um, maybe didn't quite score the runs he would have liked with us, but we knew that he was a class player. Um, and obviously in those conditions, it's pretty well known that he's an incredible player of spin. Um, he's played a lot of cricket. He's been in incredible form for Victoria the last couple of years. So I think he's going to see it as a great opportunity. Um, to, to ride a few wrongs in his test career, and I think he'll be buzzing to get out there and make a big impact. Baron North a chance to play tomorrow? Yeah, anyone over here has a chance of playing tomorrow. I think, you know, incredible depth from our squad for, for someone like Payne to be able to come in yesterday as an overseas replacement who maybe a few players might not have seen a lot of and, and basically do exactly the same role as Dorf. Um, so we've got a bit of an embarrassment of riches at our disposal, and Vosey will make that call tomorrow. So everyone's fit and firing, ready to go. One more, Bancroft took a ripper catch against the Thunder. What was your reaction when that happened? Yeah, I think he probably could have taken two bigger steps and stayed on his feet, if I'm being really honest. But you don't win man of the match by staying on your feet and taking catches. So, no, Bang has been incredible. Um, his consistency at the top of the order has been awesome. Um, and he's made some, some match-winning contributions in the field too. So, yeah, he's flying higher from a confidence perspective and looking to go again tomorrow.